Returning from service overseas could easily find themselves dealing with depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, or a host of other physical ailments. And while doctors and therapists are the best source for treatment, there's a new program in Rochester that's using a different type of medicine, laughter. Jeff Rusak is here now to tell us about combat comedians. Kevin, it's said that laughter is the best medicine. While well, some veterans in Rochester are taking that phrase to heart as they use jokes to heal and transition back into civilian society. Ah, here's my combat story. I did fix things with a rifle nearby. That's got to count for nothing. Mike ate a lot, doesn't sell out shows every time he takes the stage. In fact, this is an open mic at the Firehouse Saloon, a bar in the South Wedge. Mike tells his jokes. Who is editing at CNN now? 13-year-old gamers? And shares his struggles. I did unfortunately develop a little bit of PTSD, though. While his post-traumatic stress disorder is nothing to laugh at, the Marine vet's routine acts as a form of therapy. It's a phenomenal coping mechanism. Dave DeFranco got the ball rolling on Combat Comedians, the program that helped Mike take the stage. What we're trying to do is help the veterans that are currently disabled or struggling overcome their demons by getting their voice out through comedy, through stand-up. Something Mike says saved his life. Without a doubt, I don't think I would have been able to get over the um, anxiety and depression issues that I was having as quickly as I did had I not been doing this. And I look at my friend and I say, dude, we used to be warriors. Mike makes jokes about something that can be difficult to take lightly, his struggles during and after the war in Iraq. But DeFranco believes it's people who have experienced the worst that might benefit the most from combat comedians. That's what we want to get across. It's all right. Whatever you feel, you're not weird, you're not strange. You're missing an arm, you're missing a leg, you're, your mind's scrambled, you can't even talk to your own kids. It's all right. I was born in 1984. That was like four years into the eight years it was cool to have one of these. I have no business wearing this thing, I'm just saying. You may not see Mike ate a lot selling out arenas anytime soon, but that's not the goal of combat comedians. It's about each joke bringing people like Mike one step closer to a normal civilian life. So, I'm um, Mike Adelant. This has been a blast. You guys are awesome. Have a good night. If you want to see comedians like Mike Adelot perform, you can. This Sunday, the Comedy Club in Webster is hosting an event for CDS Monarchs Warrior Salute Program. Tickets are $12. You can find information by heading to rochesterhomepage.net. Jeff Rusak, News 8. Jeff. <laughs> to the Warrior Salute Show here at the Comedy Club in Webster, New York. All right, now we ask you to please keep your table talk down, turn off your cell phones, but I want to hear a big round of applause for the creator of Combat Comedians and Punchline for Pets. Give it up for Dave DeFranco! I was 
presence in the army when it kind of didn't matter as much as it, as it has in the past dozen years or so. Like, when I was in the army, like, Bill Clinton was president, we weren't at war. It was more like Congress versus Bill Clinton. That was, like, the war we were having. That was about it. Uh, yeah, I did, I did join up, though. My, my advice to if anybody here has not served and they're interested in serving, just ask yourself this question. You know, it's probably not a good idea to serve if you have not engaged in any physical activity from before the exact moment when you decide to join up. Like, 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 like if, it, if you walk the mile in gym class, that's a bad idea. That's what I did. All four laps. <laughs> you guys are great. You're totally awesome.
And I, I, I fix stuff. I, I fix stuff. I fix computers and I fix telephones. There are fat eighth graders with Xboxes that have more combat experience than me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Nobody's making a movie about me. I'm not going to get a Purple Heart because I fell out of a chair playing Halo. <laughs> um, I did end up with a, with a little bit of PTSD. Um, like every time I see a vagina, I dive under my bed with my wallet. <laughs>
just they drew a line somewhere. They said, you're from above this line, you suck, down here, you're okay. Mm -hmm. So Mason Dixon, right? Or as I call it, the Smith and Wesson line. <laughs>